Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snow Gardener 307. We are here for two things. We are here for a product review. This is a special product review um, that I'm not really happy about, to be honest. And then we're also going to end though on a happy note and open up all this happy mail that I have. It's like Christmas. What a wonderful way to come back from my me time. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So as I hinted, we are here for somewhat of a product review. And um, it has to do with a product that one of my subscribers said, hey, Marlene, do you make this product? Because it looks very similar to yours. So I already filmed some footage for this exact thing, but I didn't do a very good job filming it, but I did film opening the package. So we're going to go ahead and roll on back to that footage so that you guys can see how it came and what it was packaged like. So here we are. Most of you guys are familiar with this creation that took me a lot of time, a lot of effort, has original artwork for my sister-in-law. Um, and I am sad to say that I have this product right here. I have not opened it, um, but looking through the product description on Amazon, I was blown away when I looked at it because you guys, I was copied on Amazon. Now on the back of this, it tells you, Product name, Sammy Saving Challenge Book, designed by Aimstar LLC in Delaware. But then it says it's manufactured in China. And then it says path to debtfreelife.com, made in China, right? And they've got a phone number. And then when you flip it over, it comes from Love Louder is the shop. And they are out of Colorado. So let's open this up. I haven't even opened it, as you guys can see. I can tell by the package that it's much smaller. But let's take a look and see what we've got here. So now we're back here today and we have got their product, right? Which is Savings Challenge Book with Sammy the Fox. And we have got my book, The Life of a Pig Who Wants to Save But Loves to Spend. And of course, you can see they are completely different sizes. Um, but you definitely notice some similarities, right? On the front, um, there is money on both of them and you know covers similar bindings similar so in my mind you guys I feel like this is a copy now there are some differences it's not every single challenge but I want you guys to know um, or not to know but to let me know what you think let me let me know and so let's go ahead and open for anybody that hasn't seen the life of the of uh, the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend the very first page is a once upon a time story. It's just something that I came up very, up very quickly with. It says once upon a time, there was a pig named Georgette. Georgette wanted to save, but loved, she loved to spend. Her BFF, Fred Jr., encouraged her to change her spending ways. While Georgette loves to spend, she is thrifty and loves sales. A price tag with single digits is her favorite for spending and saving. But sometimes Georgette wants to save a little more. When this happens, she decides to let the roll of a die decide her savings total. And of course, that last little bit is just a clue to let you guys know how to save more in the book and stuff like that. So the first challenge that I have, I have my little once upon a time story. And then obviously I've got stickers on here because you have a $50 savings challenge. So when we open up um, Sammy's book, we've got a once upon a time story. It says once upon a time, there was a fox, Sammy, who was constantly in debt, but loved to spend. What do you guys think? Right? It says at the beginning of the new year, she decided to slowly change her spending habits. Each month she set aside, she set a savings goal of a small amount and invited her friends to join her. Sammy makes the savings process a fun adventure by playing a savings game each month. Would you like to join her in this challenge? And then it says Sammy's friend. So like I said, not everything is alike, but there are definitely some similarities. And then we flip over to the Valentine's one. And their uh, uh, challenge, I can't even think you guys, their challenge says, remember to love yourself. Mine says, love thyself. Very, very similar, right? Um, as far as the wording, they're both Valentine's challenges. Obviously, I do not own Valentine's challenges. This is a 12 month book. And then we get over to, um, mine says, happiness is free. 
theirs is luck is on your side. So you've got, a, my, I've got the pig in the pot of gold. They've got Sammy in the pot of gold. You know, obviously this is different artwork and it says Sammy and her friends save money, but I don't see any of Sammy's friends in here. And Georgette does have Fred Jr. A coloring challenge that is very similar as in that it is set your own amounts and they have used the exact same types of images as I have. So they have a pot of gold, they have shamrocks, they have a, a top hat and they have beer. So a very similar. Then we come to July, which is another challenge that looks very, very similar. And of course, because we've got Georgette with a sparkler, you know, and Fred Jr. Now, of course, they do have a play on the Statue of Liberty. So it is different, but still looking at it very similar to find the one that I think is ridiculously the same. So mine is a spooky labyrinth. Theirs is a festive fun maze, you know, so we do have the difference there. And mine has a little story about little Patty needing to get her candy. They don't have the story, but I want to read to you the directions on how to play this. I say to move, you must pay the toll. They say to make your move, you got to cover the toll. I say color the dollar amount once you have paid the toll. They say color in the dollar amount after you've paid up. I say scratch a sticker equals $5. They say scratch a sticker equals $5. I say, did you go the wrong way? Turn around equals $3. This one says, oops, took the wrong route. Make a U-turn equals $3. Then I say, did you turn around? You must pay the toll again. They say, did you turn around? Pony up the toll again. So these are my original words. And while yes, they tweaked a word or two, it obviously is a copy of my design. Uh, they have a Christmas bingo. I say a scratch any which way. They say scratch any which way. And of course they've got different things on here. And of course, you know, besides that, you know, cause I have an option where if you don't like to make decisions, you can roll a die and determine which ones to scratch off. And I've obviously got stars, stripes, and then a bingo. And so it's funny, you guys, this challenge right here, I didn't mean to label this as bingo. It was supposed to be tic-tac-toe. You can even ask the members of my channel because I showed them this and I said, should I make a sticker? And instead of it saying bingo, you know, make, have Shannon make me a sticker that says tic-tac-toe because that's what I meant this challenge to be because this is not a bingo challenge. So this was a Marlene oops. They took it and went with it because since when is bingo like this, you guys. So how funny is that? This was my mistake and they copied my mistake because that is obviously tic-tac-toe. And Marlene made a mistake when she was designing it. So I thought you guys would find that funny. Then we, they've got harvest time begins. Now here they, you know, we've got the white capped mushroom. Uh, they have white capped mushrooms. So again, not exactly the same, but definitely interesting. And then here they've put this envelope in. My books come with these two envelopes. And at the back, we've got another story. So mine says, here we are at the end of our story and Georgette has saved so much money with the help of her BFF, Fred Jr. She has been tempted by so many of life's wonderful things. However, Georgette found harmony between her spending and savings adventures. Stay tuned for more adventures in Georgette and Fred Jr.'s friendship and life journey. Thank you. And so that here it just says after continued efforts, Sammy and her friends were pleased to find themselves successful in achieving their savings goal. I want to know where Sammy and her friends are like, are they talking about you as her friend? Cause you bought the book. It says with a new year about to begin, Sammy and her friends embrace the unknown with confidence, knowing that by spending and saving wisely, they can create a brighter future. And then here it gives all of the information on the company um, in the footage that I popped in that I filmed before. Of course, you guys will see that these are made in China, um, you know, which fine, you know what I mean? And you know, it's, it is what it is at this point. It is what it is. And so of course, just know that every piece of artwork in this book on the Georgia artwork, that is the stuff on the back is not, well, I take that these dollar bills are, but if you look at this stuff, this is not Shannon artwork. This is all 307 design studio. So you are supporting two creators when you buy this book, um, because Shannon gets a commission for every single book because of her artwork. I obviously get money because I put the book together. I have these pages professionally printed. So they are, um, sent to me from a professional printer. 
I hole punch them all, my husband and I do, and we put every single sticker onto these pages. And I can tell you what, there are some of these pages that when I go to put stickers on, I'm like, what the heck was I thinking? Like this golden egg one right here. <laughs> this is such a pain in the butt. And so Marlene learned a lot doing the savings challenge book. This was my first one. Um, there are mistakes. You know, I didn't think about the binding. I thought I was going to have more room from, for the binding than I did. But, um, you know, that is the two books. Now I have to get on here and look because it's been too long since I've got this book in. And I can't remember. I think it's 1999, but I want to um, make sure that that is correct. So let me look it up, let you guys know how much it is, but let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think that this is a copycat? Now, again, like I said, it's not exactly the same. And I know from one of my friends, Liz, who explains to people, um, about how, um, to make sure your artwork is original and to not copy other people. She talks about, I think it just has to be 51% different. So I'm sure this book is more than 51% different because this is a big Chinese corporation that made this book and they know that, but they present it on Amazon as if it's a small local company doing it. And so let me look, I've got to find it because I order a lot of stuff through Amazon. There it is right there. So Yes, $19.99 plus shipping. This took, um, because I don't have Amazon like super fast shipping. So this was Amazon for me. It took six days to get to me. So $19.99 for this book right here. And of course, my book right here um, because of increased costs and everything. And of course, it includes money for Shannon, money for me. Uh, and my husband too, you guys, because he does help with these and he does get money for the books that he helps put together. Um, my book is $52, which is not a small investment. And I understand that. However, of course, this is a year long challenge. So when you consider that you have two challenges per month, plus a bonus, because this challenge here. Um, so, you know, when you take that $52 and you divide it over 12 months, it's basically like four thirty a month, four dollars and thirty three cents a month, and so I think that is a fair price point. But let me know what you guys think. Um, when it first came out, my first video I filmed was much more angry, <laughs> um, and you know now I have settled down a little bit and stuff. But I want you guys to know this is not me. Somebody obviously took my idea that I spent hours upon hours designing to. That's one thing that you guys I think a lot of people forget about for creators is. Shannon gave me the artwork. So on this, she gave me the Georgette with the Fred Jr. I came up with putting all of her dollar bills on that. You know, she gave me Georgette in her gold sweater. I had to come up with the background. I had to come up with, the, you know, the challenge, the words, you know, the quotes, if I put them in there, it takes a long time to design things. And obviously I made mistakes in this book. Hence the tic-tac-toe versus bingo. You guys, that still cracks me up. All right, so let's get to a happier uh, part of the video and uh, let's go through some Happy Mail. So I've got this big stack right here. I don't even know what it is. I don't think I ordered anything, you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna grab one at a time. This on the back is from Jennifer's Debt Journey. She says, Happy Mail, thanks for your beautiful orders. And she says, please mention me on your channel. I love mentioning people on my channel, you guys, because this community is absolutely amazing. However, if you send me stuff, I want to give you guys a warning. Now, this shouldn't be scary. This shouldn't be anything. But I have gotten some stuff, you guys, that is not the best quality. And I've tried not to talk about it because I don't want to be mean to people. Um, but if you have shoddy quality, um, and you send stuff to me and it's like on printer paper, I'm probably going to say something about it. So, because you know what, there is room for all of us and there are so many different ideas, but make sure you're selling quality. So let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay. Yep. Jennifer's debt journey. I'm going to set that off aside. <gasps> Love cute little paper clips, little paper clips. Don't give up. I love this. This goes very well with my members only video that I just put out. Okay, so this says new home projects, save $100. And this is laminated. 
you know, so it is a good enough quality that it's going to last. Um, one thing that you want to be careful of is you want to make sure if you're doing something in your shop that you can't see the numbers on the back. Like if your paper's so thin that you can see the numbers on the back, you need to upgrade paper. We've got Hello March, color each leaf for $2, a total of $32. Oh, I like that one. Okay. And these are all laminated and corner round. And then we've got Cuddly as a Cow. So cuddly as a cow. And this one looks like the lamination was a little bit of a jerk. It looked like it bent over a little bit, which maybe made that a little bit crooked. But I like this one right here. And so it looks like you can decide how much each little um, thing of hay is, each pile of hay. I like that. This one, of course, you could probably go ahead and do a roll and save too if you wanted. So fabulous, you guys. Make sure you go check out Jennifer's Debt Journey. I have never seen her products before, so that was a first for me. Let's see. I think that's still on screen. Let's take a look. Yes. Oh, I hit it. But now my mouse is on screen. So let's move those on over there. There we go. And you guys can still see the envelopes. And this one is from Diane. Diane, Diane. And it says radiate positivity. And I love that because right now, you guys, that's what I'm all about. You've got to stay positive no matter what life throws your way. So let's take a look. Oh, I'm going to make sure and see. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, okay. So I just wanted to make sure there was nothing too personal because when you send me stuff, you guys, I do read it on on air, obviously, on the video, but I wanted to make sure. So this is a thank you card. And so she sent me a sticker that says, today is going to be a good day. Do you guys recognize that? That's right. That's my theme song. It is a song that I found a long time ago. You hear it in all of my budgeting videos because I love it so much. And in some of my videos, if I've got some downtime putting binders together at the end, then I go ahead and play it at the end in full because I love it. I love that song. And we have got some A bucks. We've got $3 to go towards Australia. Amazing. Amazing. She says, just wanted to say thank you. I'm enjoying your channel and learning a lot along the way. Thank you, Diane. Love it. Thank you so much, Diane. That has to be the best sticker I've gotten in a long time just because of how much that song means to me. I mean, you guys hear it every single time. Okay. And then we've got my girl Tracy at Golden Girl Budgets. I don't know what this is. I know I didn't order anything. So let's see. She says, I just wanted to say a big thank you for signing up for my mailing list. I'm excited to share a free savings challenge with you. It's a little something to make budgeting more fun. Here's the cool part. If you finish this challenge, I'd love to see a pic of it with your savings. Share it on Instagram and tag me at Golden Girl Budgets. I'm here cheering you on in your budgeting adventure. Thanks so much for being a part of mine, Tracy. Oh my gosh, Tracy. I love these. Oh, I don't know if I was supposed to get two or not, but I got two. And I'm going to give one to Mr. Snow Gardener. He is going to be coming back with his savings challenges. Not yet, though, you guys. We have got some things still going on, so not yet. He's not to that point yet. Um, I did, in his last budget that I did that I filmed but didn't put up, I did put money for savings challenges, but then we reassessed and decided that money needed to go somewhere else. So thank you, Tracy. And yes, you know I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep this note with it to remind myself to put it on Instagram and tag Tracy. Absolutely amazing. And then we've got my girl, Ren. So we have got Ren. And you guys, I was watching somebody's video and I already know what this is. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Um, but this is Ren's monthly membership challenge and she always does birds just in case you guys didn't know. Um, her challenges are so fun because they are educational and they are definitely Ren originals. So uh, let's take a look. We got a fun little paper clip and a cute little bird. And I saw on somebody, somebody's channel that this was th their bird. Kermit. And Kermit is a 45 year old yellow naped Amazon that we had for 17 years before we rehomed him. I love it. I love it. And right now he, I have to say this at the very, very end. There's, there's a whole story. It's so dang cute, but it says Kermit now calls Parma, Ohio, his home and goes to work with his mom every morning. She owns a grooming salon and loves hamming it up with the customers. How fun is that you guys? So we've got a $44 challenge here. 
so cute. Thank you, Ren, for my freebie. And I think it's so fun that you shared a personal story with us about Kermit. How fun is that? Okay. Now, this, you guys, is from my friend Victoria. I don't know what it is. Um, I love this because she created her own envelope and everything, you guys. So it says, P.S. Hallmark, here I come. Laugh out loud. And she said, just sending a smile. And she says, believe in yourself. And the front of it's beautiful, too. But let's go ahead and pull this on out. I don't want to show her channel or her channel, not her channel, her address or anything. So let's see. What is this? Oh, a cute little card. Awesome. Okay. So it says, my darling Marlene, how about that Hallmark approved envelope? I love it. She says, of course, what I sent is a smidge too big for this card's envelope. Isn't that how it always happens? Anywho, I found this shop. And let's see, I'll have to read a little bit more. And she talks about a mason jar and I immediately thought of you and requested teal and gray. Just a super small thank you for all you do for me in the community, even when you and Bridger are in your own tribulations. And just wanted to bring, I just wanted to bring a smile, a small smile to you. So much love to you and Bridger. Always Victoria. Oh, Victoria, you're so sweet. All right, let's take a look. What is, what is this? Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh. Oh, Toto Papel. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so dang cute. Thank you, Victoria. Oh, I love it. And of course, you guys, just in case you didn't know, the reason why she saw the mason jar and thought of me, just in case you don't know what my logo is, if you haven't paid attention, this is my logo right here that Shannon designed for me. And in case you've never looked closely at my logo, of course, my name is Snow Gardener 307. And for anybody that doesn't know where that name came from, it is a name that I created up in my head to play Pokemon Go. That's right, everybody. <laughs> Pokemon Go. Um, but it's got the snowflake on it and it's got the flower behind it for Snow Gardener. And of course, I have two channels under the Snow Gardener name. So I have a budgeting channel. Then I also have my lifestyle channel. And on my lifestyle channel, I do grocery hauls. I do gardening. I do canning. So hence the canning jar. But look at how cute is that? Oh my goodness, Victoria. Thank you so much. The smallest little things just mean the world. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just such an uplifting happy mail. Okay, so now we've got chat with Nicole and budget. So let's take a look and see what we've got. So it says lots of love Marlene and it says smile on the card and it said kind is cool. Let's take a look at this card and open it up. If I could open it, that is all right. And I'm going to read it really quick. <laughs> she found a sticker. That's a very same close to the other sticker. Okay, it says, hey Marlene, thank you so much for your videos. They have helped keep me motivated these last few months to work on paying off my credit cards. I love for you to check out my new channel, Chat with Nicole and Budget. I hope you enjoy these savings challenges. Have a great day, Nicole. And a look at her sticker. Today is going to be a great day. So dang close for that one. All right. And so we've got Donut Worry About a Thing. And this one, you get to pick how much you want and you scratch them off. And this is a very nice challenge, you guys, like super thick. It, it looks like it has, I think, I don't know if those are two separate papers inside, but that's kind of what it looks like. And donut, spend that money and you get to select how much donut. Very nice. Very nice, Nicole. And then we've got babies in a barn. Oh, how cute is that? Chat with Nicole and Budget. And you get to pick how much all of the little babies are. I love it. And leap into savings. Save $35. Awesome. And then save in leaps and bounds. So each girl leaping is $3 and each boy is $2. Love it. I love it. And yes, it definitely looks like two pages on the inside of those. And I will have chat with Nicole and budget down below. Next, we've got girl mama budgets. Let's take a look. See what we've got in here. Okay. 
perfect, perfect. It says, spring is here. Happy mail for my fellow YouTube friends. It says, Marlene, hope this small happy mail makes you smile. The hedgehog scratch has spicy numbers. Hugs to you, my friend. Happy savings. Tiffany at Girl Mama Budgets on Etsy and YouTube. Ooh, I like that she told me they were spicy. So we have got a little $30, a little mini challenge. Each flower is $5. We've got a little IOU. We've got some cute little stickers, a little balloon animal, a little puppy with headphones, some sushi, and a fluffy cow, as I call it. And uh, look at that little hedgehog. Isn't he cute? Those flowers are gorgeous. Yeah, $150. I could see that being spicy. You only have eight scratch-offs for $150. Woo-wee. And then we have got some flowers, two different flower challenges. Uh, these are $60 and $80. And they are nice, you guys. Nice and laminated. Wonderful, wonderful, Tiffany. I'm going to save your note and put it with that spicy challenge. I mean, I should be able to figure that out just by looking at the dollar amounts, but you never know. And then, you guys, I have a package. I don't know what this is. I didn't order anything. And this is from Donna, the cash stuffing realtor. I don't know if you guys have watched Donna or not, but I love Donna. All right. Oh my goodness. What do we have here? Oh, <laughs> I was not expecting that. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's take a look. All right. So from Miss Donna, it says, hey, Marlene, I just wanted to send you a couple small things because I think you are amazing. Since you save for your garden, I thought this would be good for you. Love your channel, friend. Love, Donna. So we have got some fun gold coins here. Oh, my goodness. And we have got some bulbs. Amazing. So we've got some gladiolus, three bulbs. Ooh. Oh. Okay. So we've got a multicolor, a mix. We've got a trader horn. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. And we have got a jester. Oh my goodness, how fun. We have got a pair of gardening gloves and heaven knows I use a ton of those. And let's see, what else do we have here? We have got <laughs> a little keychain, a little bell that says ring for wine. <laughs> oh my goodness, Donna. Donna knows me very well, obviously. So a huge thank you to Donna. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. Um, I am going to be putting out another video tomorrow that is going to be the 4K giveaway. So make sure you turn in tomorrow. For anybody that doesn't know, I did take a little bit of time off for some self-reflection, some self-care. So I've got some videos that are going to be coming out, possibly back to back. Like I said, this one's coming out today, or actually I'm it's coming out tomorrow, but it's coming out tomorrow. The day after is going to be the 4K savings challenges. And then there will probably be a two day break. And then we've got a ton of content to get out. All right, you guys, thanks for coming with me today. And we're going to end with our today is going to be a good day song. And until I see you guys next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye, everybody. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, Grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day.